So going into chapter four, I hope everybody got a little re-energized and everything. You're back in your seat, fresh your popcorn, got a new drink, maybe got a little bit more candy. Um, you know, got your mind right and got ready for this last uh, ending of the album. So going into chapter four, I kick it off with a track called Leap of Faith. And I actually remixed this for my album and I did it with a live band. Uh, not here because the live band was actually in Japan. And I want to give a shout to Shuzz and DJ Joey Slick of Joint One who actually hooked that up for me. And um, I actually did a production on the track. So everybody that liked Leap of Faith, you know, that was on my February 23rd Ventures Vault mixtape, you're going to like this on the album. Trust me. Um, but Leap of Faith is just, just kind of about, man, um, I'm talking to you, the fans. I'm talking to my parents. I'm talking to my brother. I'm talking to my friends. And just saying, you know, I felt like God put us all here to do something special. And he gave us all gifts. Um, I don't think he gave us all one gift. He gave us numerous gifts. Some gifts are you're better at than others. But I think it's up to us. And what's the great thing about life is you have to find what your gifts are and what you're here to do. And I don't think people look at it like that. So Leap of Faith is that track that I feel like it will give you that motivation to say, hey, why am I really here? Because I know some of us, we're in dead-end jobs or we're not doing what maybe we went to school to do or what we want to do. And we're saying, you know, I don't want to take the risk. I'm comfortable. Leap of faith will make you take that risk. And that's all what it's about. It talks about the risk I've taken, just me doing music, because music has no blueprint. There's nobody, you know, you can try to copy somebody and say, all right, well, this guy made it because he did this, he did that. Well, I can guarantee you, your path is not going to be the same as the next man. He got on because he tried that certain way. So just take Leap of Faith with you, man. I think it's something that you just need to have in your car. You need to listen to it whenever you feel like you're down or anything like that. Um, and then I go from there to a track called Touch of Serenity, and that features Camille Collins, who's out of Baltimore, has a great voice. And um, Touch of Serenity, man, is just kind of, you know, self-explanatory as well. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it's something that it's going to evoke some emotions out of you. It's going to pull things out of you. It's going to make you think. And as you see this two tracks into the fourth chapter, you see what this last half of the album really is going to do for you. It's, a, it's the spiritual thinking part of the album that makes you reflect. Not just reflect on the music you heard from me, but hopefully reflect on your life as well. Um, and I go from that track, A Touch of Serenity, into another track called An Ode to My Sons. And Camille Collins actually is on that too. And I did that song strictly for my kids. I actually wrote it back in... I would say 2006, so a while ago, um, but it was an ode to my kids, I had just broke up with my girl I'd been with for five years, and um, it was just something that I felt like I wanted to put on an album that they can remember, you know, forever, you know, basically saying, hey, your dad loves you, you know what I mean, and another way for me to show you is to use something I love, which is music, and put it on wax, so that song is really, man, more for my kids than it probably is for, you know, you guys going out to buy the album, and it's just one track, though, just one, that's it. And then I end the album with uh, probably one of my favorites. Um, my brother Professor produced this one, and he's the one who scored this whole album as well. But the track is called God's Morning, and even when I do it on stage, I do it a cappella sometimes, like spoken word style, because I just feel like it's such a powerful track. Whereas it just talks about, you know, what happens when we leave this earth, when you close your eyes for the last time, you know, what do you see when you open your eyes? Um, what goes through your mind when you're about to pass away? Do you see everything that you did already and you think about the things that you haven't got a chance to do? Do you remember the people that you lost? Do you hear those people talking again that, that you know, that passed away in your life? It covers all of that stuff. You know what I mean? It is. I just hope that that track, when this album comes to a close, that you'll take that track and you'll say, hey, I'm going to listen to a word said, kicking it off with Leap of Faith down to this point where God's mourning that I'm not going to leave this earth and not accomplish the things I need to accomplish. I'm not going to leave this earth and not figure out why God put me here. So I just want everybody to know, man, it goes out on March 30th to, to get, you know, vintage experience. It truly is a movie on wax, but I want people to take something from this album. And I feel like that's what's missing out of a lot of hip hop and music in general today is we're not giving our fans and our consumers they're spending money to buy our stuff. Yeah, yeah, we do work hard on it, but I can't say everybody does. But um, they're paying hard their money. And when they spend $10, I don't care. $10 is a lot now. I want you to be able to, you know, put my CD in your MP3 player, in your car, and say, hey, I like that single he put out, but you know what? This album has so much to offer to, to the point that I want to pass this on to a good friend of mine. I want to pass this on to my mother, to my father. They might like this, even though they don't listen to hip hop that much. I want to pass this to my kids, you know, and, and that's another thing. My album is completely clean. There's no profanity on my album whatsoever, and that's something that I hold in a high regard. Because I used to curse like a sailor back in the day, but... You know, I was able to find God again, get saved and all of that. And, and it kind of made me more creative at the same time. I feel like when you curse, 
you're not as creative. You can just stick a curse word in there and move on with your bars. But my album's totally clean. So age one to, I would say, infinity can listen to my album. You know what I mean? So it's just been a pleasure, man, sharing my album with all y'all out there. I love you guys, the fans. Thanks for checking me out. Um, you can always get at me at wordsmithmusic.com. Two projects to check for, February 23rd, my Vintage Vault mixtape. It's already out, so make sure you go cop that and download it, either through Frostwire, Hip Hop DX, uh, Refine Hype, or DJ Booth. And, of course, Coast to Coast mixtape. Definitely go there. Big up to my man Lil Fats on that. And it definitely, like I said, my album, Vengeance Experience. It drops March 30th. You can get it on iTunes right on March 30th, so make sure you're there to get it. Other than that, you can see me around, man. I'm going to be traveling the world pretty much all year, be heading overseas, be all around in the U.S. And I love to meet my fans. I'm a real personal, humble guy. I realize why I'm doing this, and I realize the gifts God's gave me. So see everybody soon. Holler at me anytime. This your man, Wordsmith. It's been a pleasure. This is Vintage Experience. See y'all soon.